<laughs> you're panning from the junk over to more junk. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Internet. Zach here. And uh, I'm going to give you a quick walk around of uh, the newly acquired 1985 Ford Bronco that I'll be working on a little bit. So uh, just a little bit of ins and outs uh, of, uh, of where I got it and, and uh, what it is. I got it from a friend of mine. He had it for a couple of years and he didn't really do anything with it. Um, and uh, he already had another one and so uh, I got this one. But uh, the 1985 Ford Bronco uh, 351 Windsor automatic. Uh, it already has a six inch lift kit and a, uh, I believe the, uh, the steering conversion is, uh, I don't remember what you, exactly you call it, but uh, it, it's kind of like the, uh, the, the pre-runner style, and so it kind of changes the steering a little bit. So it's already got that. Um, it's got uh, these, which are kind of rare. The, uh, the horns, we call them. And uh, the, the bumper plastic. So that's kind of uh, that's kind of cool. I've got a couple of broken things here, but I've got a whole bunch of these. Um, don't mind the 420 on the side. <laughs> kind of give you a little history of where it came from. Um, it's got the dual shock mounts, which is kind of rare as well. It's nice to have. A really nice lift kit. Uh, it's got some aftermarket hubs. It's got three really good 33 inch tires, which are probably gonna go away. Um, it's got this, which is gonna need a sander to take off. You don't wanna see what's underneath there. Um, as you can see, it's been touched up a little bit here and there, and it's got some kind of hole right there for some reason, and a hole right there for some reason. And uh, some damage up here with some silicone. If you look close at it, it does need a few things, but I don't know if it's ever going to get fixed. It's just going to be made cool. Uh, it's got a broken window, which I have one of those already. Um, it's got a broken window back here, which I got to order. And the motor doesn't work for the window. Got to fix that. Got to relocate the tire somewhere else because it doesn't matter what you do. These things always rattle, especially when you're on off road or something like that. And uh, yeah, got the big 35 gallon Bronco fuel tank. Go inside here. It's just pretty much front of the mill 1985 Ford Bronco stuff. It's got all these issues, which are really easy to fix. I uh, just gotta. I know how to do it, gotta have the parts. Uh, you know, stuff like this that's missing, I've got all that. But, one really cool thing about this Bronco is look up. That's custom wall stuff right there. Look at that headliner. Custom shag carpet headliner. That's one of a kind. That is definitely staying. It's very nice. Plush. I, I think it makes it go faster, especially through the mud. Uh, so, oh. The other really nice thing about this Bronco is it runs pretty much perfect. So uh, that's a plus. It does need a couple things like a back drive line and, and uh, the exhaust mounts are all broken, motor mounts broken. But like I said, easy. And uh, the plan is to probably get a little bigger tire, that's 35 or 36, probably about the same width. Do away with these wheels and get some uh, either some black uh, steel wheels with a little better offset or uh, maybe some chromies, kind of whatever I can find. Uh, but definitely need the tire to sit out wider because it's way too tall and way too narrow. Um, keeping the six inch lift kit though, for sure. And uh, this side's in pretty good shape, just gotta adjust a couple of uh, body panels, adjust the door a little bit, clean it up, maybe repaint the white or uh, maybe shine up the red, I don't know. But it's just a fun project, so we'll see where it goes from here. If you got any kind of ideas or input, uh, I'd love to hear it, but uh, it's going to be just a, a gradual fix it up because, as you know, I love my 1980s Fords. So uh, we'll keep you posted on the progress. See ya.